80% of my six-figure business is based off of social media marketing. That is in fact why this video exists, to get clients. But what you probably don't know is that there is a system and a process behind all this content creation. And that is what I'm gonna show you in this video, how we do it to produce all this content so we can get clients for our agency. But first of all, why is it important to create content? Because it takes a lot of time. Well, it is one of the ways that I have found that builds authority the best. And mainly YouTube, maybe I'm biased because most of my clients come from YouTube, but I believe video content is the one that builds the most authority on the internet. And why is that? Because apart from having the possibility to show what you know how to do, people will also be able to relate to you as a person. They're gonna start to like you, and therefore they're gonna be more willing to buy from you. So how do we go about creating a content creation system? The very first step will be to draw the process that we want to follow. What I recommend is that in the beginning, we focus on one platform, one process, and then one system to run it. And that's about it. Once you have mastered one platform, then you can graduate to the next one. So let's say that I have chosen YouTube as a platform. So now I'm gonna start drawing, which is the process for creating content. So the very first step is going to be generate idea. By the way, this tool that I'm using is called Whimsical, like this, okay? If you wanna download it. So first step is gonna be generate idea. Then once I get a lot of ideas, what is gonna be the next step? It is going to be generate title and ideate thumbnail. Because I have chosen that if a video doesn't have a title and doesn't have a thumbnail, I don't wanna do it or a thumbnail that makes sense. So now after I have done this, what is the next step? Script video. Then after I have scripted the video, what is the next step? Record video. After I have recorded the video, what is the next step? Send video to editor. Then what happens next? Editor edits video. Then editor uploads video to frame.io for review. Now and gives feedback. And here we can have a feedback loop. And after and once the video is okay, then editor uploads video to YouTube. And then if we want to repurpose this into other things, then we can continue the, uh, the process. But what I want is that you get the idea that first we have to define in a place like this, uh, which is going to be the process. So then we can create a system in a tool that is going to allow us to go through this system over and over again. So the tool that I'm gonna use for managing all of this is going to be Notion, this tool over here. If you have been following my channel, you already know what this tool allows you to do. In Notion, you can create systems for everything. First, you have to define them and then you can build them. I'm gonna show you what a system like this is going to look like in, in Notion right now. So following the process that I have just described, first we have an idea phase. So this is in Notion, this is a select property. And I have a select property with all the different statuses that my videos go through. Video phase, video optimization, title and thumbnail, ready to script, scripting, ready to film, ready to edit, ready to publish, and published. Inside of Notion, we can have multiple properties. I'm not gonna go very into detail about what all these are. I'm just gonna focus on the workflow itself, okay? And once we have that, we can create a view such as this one. That, in my case, this allows me to go through the first four steps of the process. Because after this step, which is something that I haven't created in Whimsical, I want to be able to schedule the video. Schedule video release date. So now, if I go to Notion, the idea is that we start on the idea phase. Whenever I have an idea, I just drop it here. It doesn't matter the title, it doesn't matter anything. It's just the idea. And once I go through these phases, whenever they get to ready to script, they're supposed to have the final title that they are gonna have. And now they go into the scheduling phase, which is what I have right here. These are all the unscheduled videos and these are the videos that are already scheduled so i can just take them from here and schedule them as easy as that and then once they have been scheduled i have this other view over here that goes from ready to script till the very end of the process in notion you can also build templates so for example for this video over here if we open it 
we have all the different tasks that I need to do for it. And I can templatize what is the script structure that all my scripts are going to have. And this helps me a lot with creating my video scripts. And since Notion have automations, we can even automate that whenever a video arrives to ready to edit, we can assign it to our editor. But well, this is depending on the, on the use case. Maybe you are the one editing your own content, but I just want you to know that this is possible. So as you can see, once we have the process defined, then it is very easy to build something like this because the only thing that we need in Notion is a database, a select property with all the different statuses, and then to create this view, which is a, a, a board view. You can see here on layout, this is a board view. And that's about it. This is going to allow you to manage all your content. So now, which has been the strategies that I have followed that have generated more leads to my business. Okay, since I started this YouTube channel, I have been showing more the what and not really so much the how. So the what is what the systems that we can build in Notion, the automations and everything can do for your business. But I don't want to create hour long tutorials showing you the how, because I believe that if you're a business owner, you don't have the time, you don't want to spend the time, you just prefer to hire me to do it for you. So this has been my strategy. And what I have found is that the videos that have the most impact are those in which I show a system that can save the most time to people or even an automation, something like this, something that makes the viewer realize that something is possible that they didn't even know that was. And this is what has been helping me the most. Another type of content that I have tested, but not so much already, is to use client testimonials or ideas that I have gotten from bills that I have done for clients. And then the end point and the end goal of all of this is to generate leads, right? So for that, what I recommend is to have a lead magnet that you're going to promote inside of your videos because then you can have a link in the description of the video so you can capture your leads email. So far, I have been using Notion templates, which are like some, some are free, some are paid. And lately I've been using a case study where I break down the exact process that we follow with an agency from zero to full system that allowed James in this case to triple his revenue and cut down his work hours by 80%, which by the way, you can find in the description of this video. So well, that is it. I hope this simple way of looking at content creation helps you. This is a long game, but it is so worth it. My business wouldn't exist if I hadn't started this YouTube channel. And if you need any help from me and my team to create something similar for your business, just hit us up also in the description of the video. That is it for this video, guys. And as always, hasta la próxima.